So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Spencer Petler, aka Mr. Pro Shot, and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today's YouTube video is basically gonna be what is today's YouTube video? Oh yeah, today's YouTube video is gonna be uh, what do I do for a living? So I don't know if you guys know what do I do for a living. Uh, maybe let me pause here a bit and uh, let you guys just put it in the comments. Uh, what do you think I do for a living? But it's obvious what do I do for a living? Uh, like actual skill that I actually have, that is obvious. But I don't know if many of you do know that I am a, a professional photographer for my own private company called ProShot Media. So yeah, I'm a professional photographer. That's what I do for a living. And then I also work for the church called Gateway Church International. Uh, which is my mom and dad's church so I work for them as well so uh, basically I think I'm gonna break this thing into two things what I do for my business is pro short media and what do I do for the church because uh, for instance as for my company pro short media currently the only thing that I do for that company is to provide professional photography services to people I do here and there provide video services to people uh, depending on what type of gig they are having and what resources I have avail available to me at that point of time. So I do provide video services but there are services that I provide to Gateway Church International where I'm currently employed as uh, one of the people working on staff uh, handling media, media and all technical aspects relating to photography, videography, and all those other things that we need to make, edit, video editing and all of those things. Actually, speaking of that, let me just tell you what do I do for Gateway Church International. So currently at the moment, what I do for Gateway Church International is I'm currently, as I was saying, in charge of media, everything media at Gateway. So I'm responsible for making sure that we have, we like for instance, currently in this situation, uh, with the COVID or the, the big C, uh, we have to do online services. So I'm responsible to make sure that we shoot all the content that is needed for online services. So basically, when I mean all the content that is needed for online services is to shoot the praise and worship, to shoot word of offering, to shoot welcoming, and to shoot the pastor's sermon, and then get the announcements. Currently, I don't need to do the announcements. Uh, the guy I work with currently does our announcements for us. Uh, the, he's basically in charge of marketing. He does the announcements. But I'm responsible to make sure that all of those things come together to make a service. So I'm responsible for all the video editing. Not video, let's not talk about video editing yet. Uh, video production, so making sure that we are able to shoot the video. I'm, I make sure that I get the volunteers that I need for me to be able to shoot uh, all the videos we need to shoot. So I need to bring all the people, all the volunteers that's needed to make sure that the videos are shot and coordinate with the worship team. The person's gonna do word of offering, the person's gonna do welcoming, and the pastor to find out when do they want to record the videos, when is the best optimal time. And then also working with the sound guys to make sure that they're also available to be able to shoot the videos that we need to shoot. Uh, also, some of the other things I do for the church is uh, I do the video editing for the church. So currently at the moment, with the online services that we've been having, uh, I've been doing all the video editing with assistance from some of our volunteers uh, to put uh, put the finishing touches to the videos. Uh, so most of the time when it comes to video editing, I do most of the offline editing. For those who don't know what offline editing is, offline editing is basically when we take the raw footage that you have shot. So basically present worship footage, maybe there's three different cameras that you've shot. You bring all of that footage and you combine it together to make a story basically a story or a sequence so that you make the story or the sequence we make the flow of the story so maybe meaning i would make the flow of the service combine it and make the flow of the service after i've made the flow of the service and i put everything together the story is there then you come back and do online editing when we talk about online editing that is where people do color grading in the image they do color grading of the image maybe they'll put transitions you put titles you put music and all the other things that make the video 
to run smoothly not run smooth make the video stand out pop out like yeah makes it watchable so yeah there's online editing so most of the time i do all the offline editing and then i'll do part of the online editing and then maybe adding lyrics to songs i might get somebody or somebody might volunteer to assist to put the lyrics on the song but most of the time i do most of the video editing all of that and then sometimes i do make posters i used to make a whole lot of posters when i started out working for gateway church international but currently at the moment i don't do a lot of posters at the moment and again one of the reasons why i don't do a whole lot of posters is because i moved to doing motion graphics so after effects motion graphics like the, if you have watched ever watched like the intro that i have for my youtube channel currently that is a motion graphic so i'm currently dealing with things like that uh, that's what i deal with that's why i'm not busy making posters so i make the motion graphics that we see in the sunday services at gateway church national uh, you'll have your countdown your intro your outro and the intro and outro for the announcements for gateway those are the things that i currently deal with uh, when it comes to making motion graphics so i make motion graphics things like that and i do video editing and I'm responsible to make sure that we get new equipment, uh, do the research to see what new equipment can we get and also doing research to make sure that we're always making, we're always bringing out the highest quality production that we can at the budget that we have. So basically that's what I do for Gateway. I think in a nutshell, if I to list the things that I do for Gateway, I'm a photographer for Gateway, I'm a videographer for Gateway. Uh, video editor and a motion graphics maker and i can make posters for gateway so there's a whole lot of different things that i do at gateway church international currently that i don't do for post short media i could potentially do all of those things for post short media but currently with uh, the work schedule and the things is hectic working for gateway uh, there's just too many things to be done there so try do all those things that i do for gateway for post media at the same time would put me under a lot of strain, a lot of pressure. So currently I don't provide those services at post media. If I were to maybe put other people, I either get more people on my team, either at post media or at Gateway, then potentially I could provide more of those services uh, in my company. But in a nutshell, that is what I do for a living. I work for myself, I have my company, Short media where I'm currently the prof a professional photographer there where I work with uh, Moses who's currently in Cape Town he's handling things there in Cape Town photography wise and all of other media things that we do portrait media and again, again it's a media company it's not a photographic company the whole idea of portrait media is not for it to be a photographic company it's for it to be a media company that provides whatever media services you need from photography to videography to live streaming and uh, whatever else whatever other services you may need you may need in the future yeah, so yeah that's basically it i don't know what else uh, i can say what else can i say so those are the things that i do for a living at the moment for short media and uh working for gwci main yeah that's what i do for work that's what I do for work. Yeah, so that's what I do for work, working for Gateway and Postshot Media. So guys, thank you for tuning into this YouTube video. Uh, if you did like this video, please do give it a like and please do leave a comment and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Uh, until next time, 